In this video, we will assess the question, do we have a moral responsibility to increase taxation for the wealthy? Our argument is as follows. There are significant wealth inequalities which exist within British society today. These wealth inequalities affect the quality of life for a large proportion of the British population. To reduce the impact of these inequalities, wealth redistribution is required. We, as a society, have a moral obligation to protect those who are less fortunate than us, as we would hope to be protected if we found ourselves in a similar circumstance. The most conceivable method of wealth redistribution is imposing a wealth tax on the wealthiest members of society. Therefore, we, as a society, have a moral responsibility to increase taxation for the wealthy. The idea of a social minimum seeks to ensure that people aren't starving, have healthcare access and are able to meet their basic needs. An objection to enacting a social minimum would be that it conflicts with individual freedom as the government would have to coercively tax and transfer the money from the rich to the poor, which could be viewed as inherently objectionable. This can be counter-argued by saying that whilst one liberty is reduced, another more valuable liberty is promoted by abolishing poverty and improving welfare. Extremely wealthy people will still have massive liberties, choices and freedoms, despite being taxed more, which shows that they aren't simply being forced to work for the good of others. A utilitarian would argue that the more money someone has, the less utility it brings, as there would have to be a significant increase in wealth to produce the same pleasure after a certain point. Therefore, it would be right to improve the lives of the worst off from the money gained by a wealth tax. The less money someone has, the more valuable it is to them, and therefore, by helping many people through services, the utility of the money has greatly increased. As long as the money was used for creating the maximum utility, and utilitarians would agree with the wealth tax. Kant believed that we have a duty to follow the moral law. We must follow this moral law because it is our duty and for no other motivation. The maxims which are incorporated into the moral law should be universalised and this can be tested through the categorical imperative. Therefore, from Kantian deontology, we have the following response to the question of whether we should increase taxation for the wealthy. The maxim, the wealthy should pay a high proportion of tax, does not lead to a contradiction in conception or a contradiction in will. The maxim, the wealthy should pay a higher pro pro proportion of tax, is a categorical imperative, and this maxim should therefore be integrated into the moral law. Therefore, the wealthy have a moral duty and responsibility to pay more tax. Rawls' theory of justice as fairness recommends equal basic liberties, opportunities, and making sure the least advantaged members of society are also treated equally. Imagine you have to design and enter a society, but you don't know if you will be born rich or poor. What society would you want to make if this was the case? Most people would want to have a safety net so that even if you're born at the very bottom, you'd still have a good life. If a society made under the veil of ignorance is just, then it is just to increase taxation on the wealthy. However, we must consider that if this were the case, a society could be born equal and free of classes. Notice it claimed that the taxation of earnings is on par with forced labour. He believed that seizing the results of someone's labour is equivalent to seizing hours from him and directing him to carry on, carry on various activities, which is morally wrong. He formulated a theory of justice in which he declared that anyone who, who acquired what he had through these means is morally entitled to it. Therefore, as Nozick was against all forms of taxation to slavery, he would not believe that we have a moral, moral duty to increase taxation for the wealthy. Our conclusion. We, as a society, have a duty to those less fortunate than ourselves to ensure they receive at least the social minimum. This is because we would expect similar treatment if we were to find ourselves in a similar position. We therefore have a moral responsibility to impose a wealth tax, as this is the most appropriate method of wealth redistribution, 